right guys so we're just leaving the barber shop and look at this fresh cut Ew, we have a few things going on today. Some updates on the stubborn little ball python known as Grim, and it's also feeding day for the rest of the fools. So please sit down, grab a bag of popcorn, enjoy today's mouse mukbang. We have not been successful of switching Grims over to Frozen Thought. I'm on my way to pick up his next victim. All right, bag secured. We have the little guys in this little Tupperware right here. I'm gonna drive home put them away somewhere warm. It's still gonna be a little while. I have to wait for Allie to get off work and I still have some errands to run before that. The little dudes won't eat till tonight anyway. So I just got home. Grim is in there. Put the little guys under there. Little update on Vaquita. How you doing Vaquita? Oh my goodness. This is a really good example of enrichment. You wanna give them a whole lot of variety. Even if they're not necessarily climbing animals. What's up dude? All right. Quick story time. The other day I was eating tuna and uh, it fell all over me and all over my seat and now this car smells like <laughs> The end. Bag number two, secured. Uh huh, me too. I've been filming today. Ooh. What do we have here? A castaninas, little quesadillas, some beans and rice. Been really they, gave good. Us, they gave us that yummy salsa. All right. We've been really good about not eating out, so I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna treat ourselves. Go ahead. Go ahead and show the good people what we're doing. Ooh, just a Yeah, it's really sweet. Yeah, Did you record off of it? No, I have a camera, but it's path of least resistance. I already have my phone, I'm already here. You guys know Anthony. All three subscribers. Anthony, what's up, dude? Oh, my babies. That's fucked up. <laughs> Do a little tic tac. You ready to feed this dude? It's fucked up. I feel a bad for this guy. It's like, what, what is that? What, what, what you want to call it? Ratata? 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 Do you want to be the star? Wanna be a store? <laughs> anyway, so today's video is about feeding. And this is what we feed our snakes. So, mm -hmm. go ahead. We got the bag secure. We've been securing bags all day today. Look at this. Look at this, dead rodents for days. <laughs> Anthony, five bucks. God. I'm just kidding, that was a lot more than five bucks. And today, we have a medium boy from our man Osmo. How fun this is not for you, bud? <laughs> And this is Anthony's first time, by the way, too. This is great. It's great. It's a it's, it lets you it lets you know that you're <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing normal things. Gule, she's still so she's a Mexican black king snake. She's still really small, uh, and she won't take prey bigger than this. So we're gonna go ahead and give her three three pinkies. One, two. That that's a little clump. They'll come they'll come up in a second. Three. These are really tiny too. Three pinkies. That's Gule. Cooking up dinner, cooking up dinner. I'm showing you medium boy for, and a medium boy for Vaquita. Look at that. Hmm. And that's Din Din. Mm -hmm. And that's dinner, right? Let's see, Osmo, Vaquita, Ripper, Gule, and then. Ratata, <laughs> Anthony's freaking the hell out. He's giving me anxiety just being right here. Uh, anyway, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and let these defrost and we'll come back when it's feeding time. What was that? <laughs> just dropped the phone. <laughs> I was... <laughs> That's pretty good. We're gonna put one of these guys in here for him. There we go. Osmo, rip. Makita, and then three for, for Gule. She's our Mexican black king snake. They're really tiny, yes, and also I'm using these steak tongs. It's, it's what I had. I'm not going to spend money. Plus, I mean, they work great, you know, for, yeah. for <laughs> picking up what I need to pick up. So we're going to go ahead and feed the smallest of the bunch, which is Makita. 
She's Mexican, that's probably why I got it all mixed up. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna feed the smallest of the bunch. Goulet. So here's the challenging part about this little girl. Now we have to find where she's hiding. Well, we managed to destroy her entire, uh, her entire enclosure, but we got her cornered over there. Where are you? There you go, good girl. Oh, she's a vicious eater. We're gonna go ahead and fix this a little later. We kind of destroyed the whole thing just to get to her. So now we're gonna feed my biggest boy now. And I know what you guys are thinking, wow, your biggest boy, it's gonna be crazy. Well, this lazy little shit, he used to have like the highest, the highest appetite too. And what he would do, he would always just run out and strike like a madman. He's gotten really lazy, so. The, usually what I'll do, he's hiding in here right now. So we're gonna go ahead and I know, bud. I usually take his hide. This is his hot hide right now. Just so he has a reason to move around and sniff for mice. Anyway. That's that's pretty much Osmo nowadays. So what I usually end up doing. I'll just kind of let the mouse drape over like that. This is what we'll do. We're going to go ahead and close this off. And he does like a little bit more privacy, so I'll just put this towel over him and he'll start that should be enough privacy mm -hmm. and he'll start just kind of we've seen it before he'll snuggle with him we'll use him as a little teddy bear and then eventually after a night out in the town he'll eventually eat him so that's that's how we handle that big boy now this one's a good one ripper always has a high appetite oh this scared him Come on, boy. There you go. There you go. Good boy. All right, and now, last but not least, the moment we've all been waiting for, we got Vakita. And she is a really good feeder, too. You just need to smell it. You smelling that, bud? You smelling that? There you go, champ. Jeez Louise. She okay? Mm -hmm. Her head's down there. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, well she she's uh she's a snake she's a snake plug now. My goodness. <laughs> what was that? Alright guys, well there you have it. The snake feeding video. This was so awkward. I've seen a lot of these snake video, these snake feeding videos on YouTube, and it seems like everyone knows what they're doing. I've had these snakes for a few years now, and it, it really looked like I didn't know what I was doing. Hopefully, hopefully with the magic of YouTube editing, you know, we can make it look sort of competent. But otherwise, I apologize. I promise I know what I'm doing. But good thing is that everyone's fed, everyone's happy. Not Osmo. That'll take them a couple hours. We need to eat still too, so we're not gonna wait down here for him. Uh, he will eat though, and uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Ooh.